Hey, stop. I lost audio. Oh. Never mind, I got it back. Yeah. Oh my. Problems? Hello, Inspector. <laughs> See you later. You know, on one hand, I have questions. On the other hand, hot, maybe? Or a morph liquid. Well, isn't that interesting? Yep. Yeah. That's interesting, all right. Okay, let's go back to the bar. Ask about a few more things, please. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, we can ask about the mugging. Here we go. Have you seen this before, anywhere? Well, I know the shop. A costume shop just outside the village. Ever used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you know about his theft stunt? Did you know about Paul's money stealing at Atlas? Are you talking about a particular incident or just in general? It's something he did on the course. Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. When was the last party he threw? What the... Um... What? Sometime in the summer. I didn't stay what? long. What? Oh, okay. What? What do you know about doll burning at Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them. Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. Does Ryan play the guitar? <laughs> he tries. He does keep wasting money on them, though. I think he believes if he buys the right one, he'll suddenly turn into Jimi Hendrix. Sad, really. I just let him play in his room. As long as he plays in there, I don't mind. Your, your husband and wife, you mean your room, because you share a room. Uh, I... Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car, okay. it got vandalized last okay, year. Yeah. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. Ugh, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? Yeah, but they did. nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. You know about Do you know hypnosis anything stuff? about Scrying. hypnosis Scrying. used on the Atlas course? Scrying. Are you sure you mean hypnosis or power, power persuasion? persuasion? What's the difference? Mm. Not a lot. But if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. Atlas yeah. used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Have I heard of advertising? advertising? Yeah, 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 we know. Well, uh, this is accusation. You know about that? Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Ooh. Why, he's been talking. Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Is just everyone in this town guilty? Are they all just secretly, like, Satan worshipping crazy people? Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. It's a business course. It... Oh, okay, whatever. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh. They're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many. He's a friend of the family. What? Uh, that, that, that's not... No, that, that, 
Okay, what's the contradiction, Jib? I'm just... That line was too stupid and now I'm caught on it. Right. Uh, packet of dried re leaves, Rebecca's prescription. Uh, doesn't take any drugs or medicines and... Yeah, uh -huh. I was thinking that, but I'm just... I so, was... you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. He's a an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? Oh he's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Anything else for Rebecca? Or are we good with her? We're good with her for now. Uh, go to the Eden Lodge. We're finally going to the Eden Lodge? We know we've been there before. Uh, go to the Eden Lodge. We're talk oh, hey, something's happening. Something's happening, audience. What is this? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, wait, something flipped out. What? Oh, hey, Cybertome. Uh, where was Simon, I guess? Bit careless, Simon. Probably nothing important, but at this stage, I need all the <laughs> clues I can get. get. <laughs> okay, that's pretty hilarious. Oh, hey. And a nickel. Nice. My lucky day. Get shanked. Still my lucky day. I'm up one nickel. Is that it? Do we leave Eden Lodge now after we stole their nickel? Uh, show Simon the new evidence. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, you don't. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know. Okay, yeah, 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 here. What do you know about devil worship? Do you know devil about worship. Satan worship? What? Atlas. <laughs> devil worship at Atlas? No, there's none of that. Satan, 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 Satan. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it was all just questions about. Uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. But they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. I don't think they actually checked. They asked if I could summon the devil, you know, normal stuff, really. Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. No, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. Hmm. You didn't notice anything, eh? Okay, let's I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. I don't need it. Enough. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. But what is it? Uh, one nine zero five. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's just a, a pen or something. It's okay. I can remember it. So, not an offshore savings account or anything? <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it, it's not important. It's the ability to summon the devil. It's the numbers you need to carve into the flesh of your victims. And the number of victims you need. One in one city, zero in another city, and nine in another city, and five in another city. And you make a symbol with them in the correct order. And those symbols, in a cross pattern with the victims, creates the ability to summon the devil. Okay, yeah. Is this yours? Yeah. That's for my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. Hmm. Wow. Ah. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. 
What's wrong with the car? Well, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I Why got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was the insurance payout? You bought payout? a car yeah, that a you can't that use. Stolen down at Atlas. An Atlas? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. Doesn't sound like they're taking their security very seriously. Uh, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. It must have been a very nice laptop to be able to buy a car with the insurance. Or a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. Any other contradictions for Simon? Because I guess that one right off the bat, but we're good. Um, go to Ryan. Oh, we can go to Ryan. That be back later on if that's okay. Ryan, it is. Okay, we're just gonna go pop in, and say hi to Emma, because uh, let's ask her if she knows about Ryan's arthritis. Do you know about Ryan Rand's arthritis? Arthritis? I, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. The ability to summon the devil through the use of my mind. Do you know what auto-hypnosis is? Um, it's some type of self-hypnosis, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't. But I think Kate was into it. She learned it from when she went to Atlas. And what did she tell you about it? Um, not a, not a lot, really. I think it helped her. I think she used it as a sort of self-meditation. Vandalized car photo. Do you know anything hmm. about these? Hmm. Sorry. Well, thanks. Uh, we've. Do you know anything about this business card? Have you seen this before? Um. Nope. Sorry, oh, never heard of thanks. it. Thanks. Uh, do you know what this is? And what do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this from a holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. I can't keep anything. Oh, that's sad. And he's being mind controlled and being evil. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I let him. <laughs> I like her. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's hope she's not the killer. Okay, let's go over to Atlas. So we're going to talk to Ryan now? Yep. Okay, so evil, 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 evil. Is there anything in here right now? In the corridor? Uh, nope. Just wanted to check. Mm-hmm. Got to do the evil, 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 evil summoning of the devil with magic powers. Are we gonna do this please? entire game in one sitting? I don't know. Uh, we've asked about this, we've asked about that, we've asked about this, we've. Oh, there's a bit of a Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> She's actually a man. Tell That'd be the funniest thing. Your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes. That's why I drink all this I'm water. Old before my time. <laughs> It's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life 
likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. I'm going to... Okay, let's, let's put this business card I just found. Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We, we have oh, our own IT, IT sure. chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, that, that's mm. good. That's actually pretty good. Okay, uh, do you know anything about this? Have you seen this before? No, I'm sorry. Okay, do you know anything about Simon's stolen laptop? Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. It was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. Okay. Salvia Divinorum. Because you just mentioned about the fact... That's uh, uh. a contradiction, Mr. Ryan. That's so, a contradiction. You don't keep any medicines on site very big one at that. Atlas. No. Mm -hmm. Except your prescription painkillers. Mm -hmm. Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. <laughs> What are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. No, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Painkillers, painkillers, painkillers. Codeine. Morphine. morphine. Uh, well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. <laughs> she wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. God. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh my. So the storeroom is particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. Okay. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Okay. A combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. It's the number on the back of the card, which is... Let's go. Upstairs. Quickly, quickly, we're going upstairs. Yeah, thought so. We just use the card and we get in. Wow. Wow. Welcome to the mirror room. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. And this is where we As get spritzed with the liquid morphine. Practice seeing yourself as a stranger. What the, the more you separate from the, your persona, the, the more aware Jim, you will become Jim, of your true desires. The, I know, I know. Chant with us. Chant with us. I am free from my image. I am free from God. I, am free from my I shall summon the devil. I am free from myself. I am free from myself. I, free I shall free my myself image. and become one with the demons. How is this? Where would you keep your morphine? 
Where do you keep your This mask? exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module two covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. What the? What? 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 B -b morphine? Where's the morphine? Where is he? The what? What? Was he trying to lock us in here? Was this some sort of weird what? Did, uh... What? Oh, okay, I guess we're done. Are we done, Chip? Was that it? Was that the was that the room? We're gonna go back to Ryan. D yes, I guess. Actually, no. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can talk to him about it, but um, Who, where we go? we're gonna go to Simon next. Okay, Simon. Simon, Satan just tried to call to us and control our minds uh, I'll ask you a couple more things please do you know about the mirror room do you know about the mirror room, room at Atlas yeah it's useful but it's mainly for the auto hypnosis module uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into well, a you free yourself of your soul when you're and identity ready, you so you become out. a mind slave so you just go in whenever you want to Oh, no, um, there's certain times when you're allowed in, and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. You don't know the combination? No. I uh, didn't know the combination, business card. Yeah, no. Aha! Uh -huh. uh. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? Nope. Nope. Except. You've written it down, haven't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? Oh, my. It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? Didn't give a number to anyone else. No. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Wait, Vine's death. Where is the morphine kept? Did Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We we both tried to morph in. What do you mean trying to outdo each other? What the what? It's part of the course. What? To see how far you can push yourself. What does that do with business? How does if you could do something you wouldn't business? normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about kid? I don't know. Sorry. What? What? That's how we get... Okay. Well, that so was... that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Eleven o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. Okay, I guess we're gonna see you later, audience. We're gonna pause here. Uh, see you in the next part. Bye for now. <laughs>